Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, May 2nd, 2017. Um, I don't think I filmed last week and I know there was a reason I didn't and I can't remember why off the top of my head. Something's blocking my memory on that. So, um, anyway, I told you guys last time I talked to you that I was still waiting on two packages from the birthday uh, swap and those packages have arrived. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is from Vicki and um, we knew it was going to be late and that was perfectly fine. Vicki, you're moving. I don't ever expect anybody who's moving to get anything done. Don't worry about it. Don't ever think that I would ever be mad about that. And that goes for everybody else too. Real life happens and it's you know, just don't we go through. So anyway, I got a birthday card that's sweet and lovely. And then she sent a couple little things, some lovely handmade labels. Not handmade by Vicky. I don't think. If they are, they're incredible. Um, but they're to put, hey, I made this on things. And she also sent a couple of lovely postcards and then the fat quarters she sent she sent some Disney villainess fabric I love Disney villains and she also sent this gorgeous scissor fabric which I can't wait to use I don't know what it's going to be used on yet but it will be used and the last package that hadn't arrived the one that I was concerned was lost um, turned out not to be lost. Turned out to be my mailman's fault. And I will blame my mailman because if the guy can't get a clue that a bunch of packages were coming to my house and doesn't bother to read the name and tries to deliver it for two weeks to my neighbor that's a vacant house for two years. Um, yeah. I, I just, it's not anybody's fault but the mailman. But, so I got um, my last swap, which was often Jen, and she sent me this lovely purple sparkle, which goes to show something about our friendship because um, they're both sparkly and um, they have a uh, tonal to them. And I'm pretty sure Jennifer's the one who got me into sparkly to begin with. And then she sent me some lovely red dots, which I know what this is going to be used for. I know what this is going to be used for. And Jennifer, you should too. This lovely red, I know exactly what this is going to get used for. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. She also sent a lovely card. And what she showed people on Facebook the other day, I didn't know if I could show it off just yet. This gorgeous quilt label for my paper piecing vintage. And truthfully, this is just an amazing thing because um, I've never actually put quilt labels on my quilts because I don't make that many. So I've always figured I'll just remember them. But there will come a day when I won't remember. And this will be very nice to have on it. Then she tucked in a little surprise and I know what's happening with this too um, because reasons. This cute little thing is going on a project that she and I spent a lot of time talking about today. So um, uh, Jennifer, I, I think you know where this one's going. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I can't wait to use all this stuff. So I don't have any finished projects to show you. Um, not because I don't have finished projects. I actually have pretty massive finished projects, but I can't show you guys. It's not even finished. That'll happen soon. Um, but you can't see it right now. Then, um, tomorrow, today, I'm actually going uh, to meet up with one of my co-workers' uh, wives, and I'm going to attempt to teach her how to crochet. I say attempt because 
I'm not always successful in teaching people. Um, I really try hard, but my brain works kind of weird, so um, I don't always succeed. So um, that that should be fun. Which reminds me, I gotta find the supplies for that. I will do that as soon as I get done filming. Since it's 1 a.m., I should probably be wrapping this up soon. Um, but no, this week has been very busy, and last week so. Uh, as well because I've been working with some genealogy stuff and I've actually um, knocked through a couple brick walls for a couple people um, that uh, is always fun I mean I might as well go to work wearing a hard hat because I've uh, hit so many brick walls that um, I can build my own house uh, one of them I talked about on Facebook uh, was my own kind of brick wall I have a third grade grandfather who I can prove is my third great grandfather. The problem is by his obituaries and his information I didn't have his parents name so I really couldn't get any farther and when I first started doing my research about five years ago I found evidence of who they probably were but no direct connection and one of the things that I've learned over the years in um, genealogy is you have to prove the connection and so I've been uh, kind of keeping it there but um, I'm not really sure that's kind of how I feel about it um, so anyway uh, last week late last week uh, a light bulb kind of went off and I did a couple of quick searches uh, through some microfilm uh, for some information that I thought might be there and I did find it which actually gave me the final proof that I needed uh, to say that um, my third great grandfather was the survivor of a very uh, bad uh, steamboat explosion in 1838 none of his information talks about it and the survivor the other surviving family members uh, don't always mention him and since it's kind of a common name um, there was question as to whether or not it was him or not but I got the last piece of proof I really needed was um, a mention of the guy's death um, and positively named his brother who positively uh, identified with the wreck as a survivor so that was pretty cool um, I got a couple other things that I'm working on uh, for a couple of my patrons that I'm uh, finding so that makes me happy um, I think that's about it um, one thing I know Jordan especially will um, will like this but um, I did hear back from the statewide uh, committee for ILA which is the Illinois Library Association uh, they hold a conference every year for um, library people to go to um, a co-worker and I submitted a program proposal and it got accepted so come October I will be doing a presentation at um, in Chicago um, the theme of ILA is uh, rise up and it's supposed to be kind of like you know the cream of the crop rise to the top kind of stuff but as soon as I saw rise up um, I immediately went into Hamilaria and I started thinking about all the ways that it could be uh, I could do a Hamilton themed uh, genealogy program so that's what I'm going to do I still have to write it uh, three weeks from today I am giving a presentation at the museum three weeks from Thursday I'm giving another presentation at a genie society about an hour away from here so it's going to be a very busy time coming up so I'm kind of looking forward to that and I still hope to have plenty of crafty time I have a commission to work on and a couple of babies due later this year so I will be busy with that um, so I think that's it so I will talk to you guys hopefully next week but 
We'll see. All right. Bye.